Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today we're going to be making this really pretty Merry Christmas card. To begin, I am using this Banner Day stamp set by May May Made It. I absolutely love this stamp set. The banners are perfect and all those letters fit perfectly into each of those banners and I love that. Now this is for birthdays or invitations but I wanted to take it a step further and actually make a Christmas card out of it. I have used this um, stamp set in the past to make um, birthday cards and graduation cards it's so easy to personalize because of those letters so it is an awesome stamp set to have in your collection I start off with a um, matte piece of cardstock which is measures four by five and a quarter then I decided I wanted to emboss only part of this matte piece so I just took my cuddle bug folder and I just lined it up to a little over in half, uh, half of that cardstock and I just ran it through my cuddle bug and I gave this awesome embossed, um, embossing with the Swiss Dots folder. Once I had that completed, I then took my Misty and took one of the banner pieces and lined it up to where I wanted it and stamped it using the Misty. Now I wanted to use the Misty because all I had to do was move the cardstock piece um, over slowly and then make sure it fits and then close the lid and stamp. And I th did this five times to get five banner um, pieces. I wanted to spell out the word Mary using these banners so I put the letters M E R skipped a banner and then put Y on the next banner just because I only had uh, one letter one of each letter so all I did to fix that was just take the R again uh, on a uh, block a stamp block and then just stamped it on the one that I skipped then I used some gold embossing powder to emboss this because I wanted that embossed shiny metallic gold look. I went ahead and fussy cut this whole banner out and the reason why I did fussy cut this is because I wanted this banner to sit like a banner so I could manipulate the banner to be wherever it needs to be. Once that was done, I then took some painter's tape and what I do with the painter's tape is I usually just stick it in different places just so it's not so sticky. Um, I did that a few times. Then I took a scrap, uh, scratch pieces of paper and put it in the back and then just did some ink dragging using the crimson red versifying ink. The ink dragging technique is very simple and very fun. You emboss an image and then you use the ink dragging technique to drag it across the embossed image. Once I had my fun of ink dragging, I then took some foam squares and put it on each banner and then I slowly took one foam square out and then place the banner where it needed to be and then did this for the whole, whole um, banner which was five pieces then i took that same crimson red and i went around the edges of the whole um, matte piece just to give it a more uniformed look i then cut a piece of cardstock that um, would fit perfectly in the bottom portion of that uh, matte piece and then i also inked the edge of that then i took the stamp set uh, santa's key by mamie made it and I wanted to only stamp out Christmas and surprisingly enough I don't have a stamp set that only says Christmas so to fix that I just put some painters tape on the word magic of Christmas magic and then I inked it up this makes sure that only the word Christmas will be inked and not the word magic and then I stamped it onto my piece of paper and as you can see no one could ever tell that the word magic was there 
I wanted to take this um, this little piece of cardstock one step further so I just took one of the banners and I used that crimson red once again and I stamped this image that banner image multiple times doing first second third and fourth generation stamping then I took a gel pen a unable Signo gel pen in black and made a few dots I decided this would look better if I popped it out, up using the foam squares, so I popped it up. If you have any other foam squares, feel free to use those. It doesn't have to be a square, it could be any shape. I just had to uh, happened to have this and used it. Now if you want, you can stop right here and finish the card and put it on a base. But I wanted to take it a step further. But before I did that, I cut my base and I used Nina textured cardstock. Now I absolutely love this piece of paper. It is textured and just the cardstock is heavy and gives um, a perfect, makes a perfect card base. And the colors are exceptional. I just find the colors of these cardstock to be just so rich and just makes my cards look extra special. So I glued this um, piece of uh, matte piece onto my uh, cardstock, um, the base, and then as I uh, mentioned before, you can stop right here. But I decided I wanted to take it a few steps further by using my Nouveau Crystal Drops and my Nouveau um, Glitter Drops and just making a few dots with uh, different colors. I used the glitter one, um, uh, the red glitter, and also the clear. And I just took my pokey tool and just dragged it down just to kind of give it a more Christmas look. I did this on all four corners and it created this gorgeous look. And that finishes the card. I love this card. It's a very Merry Christmas but unconventional. I wanted to make a Christmas card that was a little different and I think I did achieve that. I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so so very much for subscribing and watching this video. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye!